Hi, this is Linda with Watery Wishes and I'm finally back with another card and um, I didn't take any photos of this one because it was for a fellow crafty YouTuber called Daniel and he is Del and Artie. Now the reason I didn't take photos is because I basically posted this as soon as I'd made it. So I decided I was going to go with a bit of a childlike boyish theme for him because I figured they're always fun, these cards. I really enjoy them. So I'm using some just printed paper and some washi tape and I'm just masking off one side of the card base so that I can get some ink blending done and what I'm doing is I periodically wipe my glass matte clean because because the ink actually sits on the glass mat and if you move your cardstock or your card over that you just smudge it on the inside of the card so it's just something you have to be very mindful of working on the Tim Holtz glass mat it's actually its only drawback is that uh, in like when you're doing inking on it instead of paper you run the risk of getting it on the inside of your card if you're doing it on the actual card so it's been a while since i've posted a video for the last two weeks i've had my head deep in my university assignments and i actually just submitted my last one for this study period yesterday so i have a bit of free time to just relax and craft so that's always great in between study periods not that there's much time in between study periods one ends one week and the other starts the next but usually you get you know a weekend and a few days just to relax and veg and do nothing and the first week is fairly easy so here I'm taking the distress inks instead of the oxides which I used for the card base and I'm using vintage photo and tea dye and I believe I used Salty Ocean and Peacock Feathers maybe for the ocean. I'm not sure. They'll be linked down below. And I've used a Penny Black. It's a an antique frame die set. And I'm just distressing that bit of craft paper and I inked a scrap of the same craft paper because I want to use it to test out different inks that I'm going to use on the one that I'm using on the panel that I'm using for the card so that I can see how they look on the actual inked up surface And if you're unsure of what you're doing, just test it on a scrap. And I mean, I had I had a decent idea of the sort of card I was going to make, but I don't make cards twice. I just turn the camera on and wing it. So what you see me doing is, uh, I mean, there's a lot of testing out where placement goes for a lot of things so here I am just placing the stamps where I believe they are going to be best suited for this this uh, distressed bit of card with with the distress inks and I'm going to turn this into a like a treasure map Now that stamp that I just stamped, I actually meant to stamp that off and do a second generation stamping, but uh, 
Well, I forgot to do it, but it works out okay in the end. And just as I was doing this, my camera uh, stopped, so it does it every 30 minutes or so. So I had to hit record again, and I lost a bit of filming because it takes a minute for it to click at me so I can hear that it's turned off. So here I'm just using my Pit Artist marker from Faith Castell to uh, do some like trailed stitching lines around the map and then what I did is I scrunched the whole thing up in my hands like I missed filming that bit but basically crumpled it all up and then pulled it all out and flattened it out so it looks like a worn treasure map and then I tested some as you can see there's a couple of dark waves there on the center bit but that's going to be covered up by the treasure map so I tested some some inks to see exactly what I was going to do and because I had that area that was going to be covered up I could actually test on the card and as you can see I'm second generation stamping these waves with the mermaid lagoon which must have been one of one of the colors I used instead of salty ocean which is a bit different for me because salty ocean is usually my go-to color for ocean <laughs> here I am taking the foam adhesive off now I'm just curling up the edges a little bit now I'm I stamped and colored the images some more images from the um, Ahoy Matey Lawn Fawn set now I'm setting them around the map oops not my camera what does glue have against me there's I'm always having trouble with liquid adhesive but I do prefer to use it for certain things so as you can see I've stuck the parrot onto the arm of the little boy pirate and now I'm contemplating what I'm going to do to sort of there's me moving my camera out <laughs> um, I'm contemplating what I'm going to do to create a visual triangle and the other elements that I'd already stamped and colored didn't really fit into the spot that I wanted to use so I'm going to stamp and color another lot of those palm trees that I stamped on the map, map earlier and um, they're sort of lost behind the little boy pirate and here I am with the stamp looking at how I think it will go and I'll just stamp that out and color it really quickly with my Copic markers and uh, I cut the rest of the Copic coloring out because with it the video was going to be like 25 minutes even sped up so I just uh, cut the Copic coloring out for all the other bits and pieces but as you can see I'm not not being absolutely perfect with my Copic coloring I had to go in with the color of Splendor and I mean they're cartoony images so they don't have to be perfect and 
here I am quickly fussy cutting the palm tree out. I actually used the dies. I have the dies for this set, but I wasn't going to get my big shot out just for one tiny image. So as you can see, as you fussy cut out with your dominant hand, you keep the scissors somewhat straight and then you move the image or whatever you're cutting out with your non-dominant hand. I just snipped that other little tiny bit off the top of that just so that it would fit within the A2 format for the card. So I very rarely use stamped images to decorate the inside of my card but I thought that Daniel might get a kick out of it. So I did this time. Now, on the inside of the card I'm going to stamp happy birthday and I'm going to stick the treasure chest and the little girl on either side of that. And there is one more touch I make to the car since I think that the front panel is just missing a little bit after I adhere these. I get out another of the sentiments from the set. It says ARG like a pirate <laughs> and I stamp that out onto another bit of Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound which is basically what I use for all my stamping and colouring with Copic markers. And then I'm going to draw a little speech bubble around that sentiment fussy cut it out and adhere that onto the card next to the little pirate boy in between where the pirate the little pirate boy and, the, and his little parrot is so it could be either of them saying it um, <laughs> which I thought was funny so the reason I sent this card off as soon as I'd done it is because I knew it wasn't going to reach Daniel in time for his actual birthday but I wanted to get it to him as quick as I could. So hopefully Daniel will post a picture of this card on his Instagram or something. As you can see I just coordinated the envelope with a little treasure chest on the back and a little and a little pirate ship on the front. I really got a kick out of doing this card. I love doing I love doing fun whimsical childlike cards. They're just such a joy to make. That was me just masking off the other bits of the sentiment that I'm not using. Now I'm just lightly, very lightly using that pencil to get that speech bubble that I was uh, talking about earlier. And I get a 
memento marker and I just go around the edges of it from the back. I accidentally picked up my first mark pen there because they look pretty much the same from a distance. And there we go, now it looks exactly like a cartoon speech bubble. And there is the final little touch to the card, once I get it stuck on. So even though I didn't take photos, I can pause the screen for a couple of seconds for you guys to have a look at the finished card. This is the outside and I really hope Daniel really likes this card. I really enjoyed making it. There's the inside. And uh, if you guys like the video, hit that like button. And if you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Um, if you did like the video, I would be really happy if you subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, have fun crafting your imagination. Bye.